to Let's Paint. Monday night, we teach you how to paint a painting in about an hour. So I'm Kirsten and I am a content creator here at Plaid. And today we are celebrating the next big holiday that everyone is excited for. And that is the 4th of July. So we wanted to do something fun and bright and sparkly and festive. We wanted to show you guys some new products that we have. So some exciting new glitters. Um, so first thing I wanna let you guys know is KT is in the studio and she will answer any questions that you guys have. Um, if you want me to speed up or slow down or you want me to hold up the painting, any questions that you have, just put that in the comment section and KT will get right, will get right to you. So first thing I want to do is go over the supplies that we are going to use for tonight's class. We are painting, again, something a little unique for those of you that have joined us. Most of the time we paint on a canvas, but today we wanted to do something fun and paint on a really unique plexiglass, um, kind of a wall hanging. It's got the hanging on it, um, a fun plexiglass wall hanging that you can hang up in your home. All right, so you will need the surface. Again, it's a plexiglass. I don't even know what shape that is, um, but you will need that. And you guys, if you, if anyone doesn't have the exact supply, a canvas will work, um, a different shape piece of glass, a large frame with glass in it. For, for tonight's class and really all of the classes, it's about the technique. So don't not join us because you don't have a specific supply. Okay, so that's your surface. And then we are using the Let's Paint Live Folk Art Matte Kit. It's a fabulous kit. All of the paints that you need for most of our classes. And tonight we are gonna use Wicker White. We're gonna use Pure Orange, Daffodil Yellow, Bright Pink, two blues, true blue, aqua, Dutch aqua, and then the exciting new glitters that I told you about. These are folk art glitterific, and two of them are just our basic glitterific, which are fabulous glitters, packed with different shape particles, so you get a lot of different sparkle, a really unique finish, and then something that's a little bit new, and that is folk art glitterific pop. And those are larger shapes. We have got circles. We have got one that has hearts, one that has stars. So pop just means it's a really unique shape glitter in our folk art glitterific line. So a gold, a dark blue, and a bright pink. And same with your surface, same with your colors. If maybe you don't want pink and you want to focus more on red, white, and blue, perfect. If you want to skip the glitter altogether, that is perfect. Or if you just want to use maybe red or orange, any glitter that you want to use. But these are the supplies that we're going to use for today's, for today's um, fun 4th of July painting. All right. So in the Let's Paint Live kit, you get an assortment of wonderful brushes. And what I always like to tell people is you do not have to use the exact brush that I use. If you're more comfortable with a larger brush for base coating, use it. If you're more comfortable with a super tiny brush, when I'm using a medium brush, use it. Use whatever brush is best for you. But what we're going to use tonight is a flat brush. You can use a 10, a 12, whichever one's comfortable, a, a round brush, or you can use a little liner brush that is also in the Let's Paint Live kit. And those really are the only brushes that you are going to need. I'm going to have a second flat brush, a 12 and a 10, because one I'll use for glitter and one I'll use for paint. Okay, always paper towels, always a palette, whether it's a plate, foam, ceramic, or palette paper. We use a blow dryer here, and the reason we do that is because we want to teach you the techniques and you leave in an hour with a finished project. So we cheat and um, accelerate our dry time every now and then. Okay, and then if you guys don't feel comfortable with just um, applying your own pattern or creating your own design, run and get a pencil and a piece of paper and I'll show you an easy way to apply a pattern and begin your composition when you're working on something clear. Okay, how is it KT? Anyone have any questions? Not yet. All right, then we are going to get started. All right, so anyone, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna just show anyone that wants kind of a cheat way to apply a pattern. 
lay your surface, lay your clear glass over a scrap piece of paper, and I just kind of mark the um, size of the surface. So you can see I just marked that, so that shows the, the main area for my design. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little circle for my largest. I'm going to scoot this in here. So we're going to do fun fireworks. And again, you guys can do one big one. You can do four little ones. Be creative and make this, make this your own. But what I'm going to do, one, two, three, four main fireworks. I'm going to put a little dot just to represent the center. And then not going to draw it out, not going to draw each line like a pattern, but I'm just going to just kind of sketch the area that the firecracker will land. I know this one. I want one that's kind of the, the focus, the largest one, maybe the most colorful. So I'm just going to represent that with a little bit longer sketch. I'm not going to go in and do all of these little details, but this is a great way if you're, if you're a child, if you're new, if you want to just feel confident before you apply paint to your surface. This is a great way to do that, especially when you're working with um, a glass project. And then this little one here and this little one here, I'm just going to represent that. But again, I'm not spending a lot of time drawing a pattern. Okay, so that's our pattern. You don't have to do that. If you don't do that, I'll show you the step that we will do first. I am going to get wicker white and put a little bit on my palette. I'm going to get a little bit of the bright pink. a little bit of the daffodil yellow. And this is all folk art matte acrylic. Okay, and really just those. And I'm gonna get my thin round brush. Okay, so if you're using the pattern, I'm gonna dip into the white. And I am gonna just start where I marked my little fireworks, I'm going to just do, let's see, they're just long, flat strokes. I'm going to hold that up. Actually, I'll put my hand behind it. Just kind of like a highlight or a star. And that's just the beginning or the placement. And I'm going to do that on every single one. The great thing about doing something so fun and loose like fireworks is no two are the same and no matter what size or placement or color that you use they're going to be just perfect. This would be a great class for kids, um, for beginners or just a really fun way to just enjoy an hour doing something that's not, not super tedious. But you guys can see, they're all different. They're really just to start our composition. I'm going to do one more right here. And the only tip I have here is make sure that they're all a little bit different. One is a little bit larger just because all fireworks are different and you want it to look really natural. Okay, so I've got my placement. For most people that join our classes, they say starting and applying the pattern is the trickiest part. So once you've got placement, the rest is just a really fun application of paint. Okay, so now I'm going to pick my colors. And I am going to go, I'm not even going to clean off that brush. I'm going to go directly into the pink. I'm going to start on my first firework. Let me pull this back in here. And again, the one that I'm choosing to be the biggest, kind of the, the hero in the project. And just what I did with the white, I'm going to do the same thing with this really bright pink. I'm just using the tip of the round brush so that I've got long, skinny strokes. And I'm just starting in the center and pulling out not the not exact spacing starting in the center 
staying on the tip of the round brush and just pulling out long strokes. I'm gonna sneak up here to this one while I've got pink on my brush and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I think this is a super cute um, painting of fireworks. It doesn't have to be specifically 4th of July. It can be a lot of different summer events. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and you guys can see I've overlapped the white. This one is different than this one. We're really just having a really good time now applying color. This one, I want to be mostly the yellow. I love the yellow and the white, but I'm gonna put just a few of those same long strokes because I want a little bit of pink in there, but not as much as the other one. I know this could technically be a beach a beach project because whenever oh, yeah. I go to the beach I always love to go see fireworks same here so beach summer kids are out so much fun okay I clean my brush in water whenever just a little tip for anyone that's new to working on glass or plastic once you clean your brush you just want to make sure that you remove all of the water from your brush because you don't want any water when you're working on glass or plastic okay I'm going to get a little bit of pure orange on my palette, a little bit of aqua. If you guys are using purple or red or different colors, the technique is exactly the same. And you can see I'm using very little paint for today's project. Okay, so this, this one, I want to be mostly yellow, so I'm going to do that exact same technique same thin round brush, no water, and I'm just doing long strokes, always starting at the center and pulling away from the center of the firework. The fun thing of working on a clear surface, and we'll do that in a minute, is you can paint on the front and the back, and it's a fun way to just keep layering colors. I'm adding a little bit of yellow to this one. I'm actually going to go directly into that orange, not cleaning my brush with water. And I'm just going to continue to do these long strokes to get the, the base coat. We're basically getting the basic shape for all of our different fireworks. You can see how, how beautiful the paint covers when working on a clear surface, which is one of the best things about the folk art, is the consistency is wonderful and the way the colors work together. So that guy's mostly orange. This guy is mostly pink. I'm going to clean that same brush in the water and just remove it on a paper towel. And I'm going to go in on this one and I'm going to add some more white. You guys just keep layering colors until you get a really nice base coat. But you want that clear glass to come through in some areas. You don't want full coverage because we're going to actually add color to the back to create the dark blue. So lots of color, but leave those open areas. So when we do our base coat last, you get all those really nice details. Okay, so that's kind of the basics. I'm gonna go in the aqua, and I'm gonna add some details to this pink one. I'm gonna do less aqua than there is pink. I'm gonna space it a little bit larger than I did the pink and the white. I'm gonna make them a little bit longer. I might do a short one. So what I'm doing here is, instead of starting in the middle, I'm just making a long stroke 
out on the edge of our firework. I've never said firework. I've never said it. <laughs> <laughs> they always come together, right? Yeah, that's true. The more the merrier I with fireworks. Agree. Never should there be just one. <laughs> but it's almost just a dash. And you guys, they're not the same. They're not exact. You just want to give some detail by adding different lengths of the same stroke. I'm going to go over here to the little one on the bottom and I'm going to add that blue because I love that color. Some of the strokes I'm going right over the white, some I'm not. Bumping right up to the edge of my surface. And now I'm going to go back into that wicker white and do the same. We're really just doing the same stroke over and over. Some of the strokes are longer, some of them are shorter, some are thicker in the middle of your design, but you're just layering all of the colors. I'm going to do the same thing where I did those little detail strokes. I'm going to do the same thing with the white making them a little bit longer. I might do them really close together. Let's see if you guys can see that. I'm going to do a little border of strokes. I'll hold that up. Really close together. And again, this guy is the one that I want to be the main firework. So I'm going to give a little extra detail to him. But leaving a lot of open space because we're going to add the glitter, we're going to add that really pretty blue background. It kind of looks like a colorful dandelion at this point. Oh, it really it does. does. Yeah. Which those are my favorite fireworks. You know those ones that are all white and they're yes. just big and round? Those are my favorite. Those are nice. So just keep adding color, everyone. I'm going to go in the pink, add a few extra long ones. The only tip really is leave some space. I'll put my hand behind there. See how it's not completely covered. It's not a solid circle. Leave some space in between your strokes and just keep layering colors until it's exactly the way you love it. Okay, I think I'm going to add a little bit more pink on this guy. Oops. Maybe we can ask the chat too if anybody's got some fun 4th of July or summer plans. I love that. You can that. say that in the comments. I hope they do. I think everyone's out, right? I know all the South is out. I know my friend in mm -hmm. Michigan is out. I think summer has begun for everyone, right? Yeah, I, th I, th I think so. I do too. I hope so anyway. I know. Summer goes by so fast when you're a kid, so. <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. <laughs> you are not kidding. I'm just adding more white to the center of some of these. And I might add, let's see, I'm still using the same brush and only, only cleaning it with water and switching out every now and then, maybe between blue and pink. But if I'm going into white, 
or orange to yellow. I really don't even clean my brush because I love the way the colors blend. All right, that might be the colors that I want for my fireworks. Okay, guys, so what we are going to do is we are going to dry this really quickly. The good thing about the Folk Art Matte Acrylic is it already has a really fast dry time, but we always want to layer colors on dry paint. So I am going to hit this with the blow dryer so it's 100% dry. Any questions before I do that, KT? Not any questions, no. Alrighty. Okay, so you should have a really cute composition, colors that you love. What we're going to do next is flip over your project. I know it looks almost the same, um, but it's definitely dry. There's a little bit different of layering of colors. And what we're going to do is base coat the majority of the area of our firework. And the main tip that I have for this is don't create a circle, it's almost like a giant polka dot because you want that irregular edge. So what I'm gonna do on this one, for example, is I am gonna base coat him. I'll do the orange, just so you guys can really see it. So I'm not gonna do a polka dot. I'm not gonna do a full circle. I'm gonna do just long strokes with a larger flat brush. I'm using a 10 and coming out from the center. So not a full circle and don't go all the way to the very end of all of your strokes. Just go a little bit inside of that and do a base coat with an irregular edge. All we're doing here, which is really fun, is let me flip that over. You can see we're adding even more color, but we're doing it from the back on all of our different designs. Okay, so that's the orange, and the key to that is just an irregular edge. Make sure you remove any water out of your brush. I'm going to get a little bit more of that pink. This firecracker, firework, <laughs> I'm going to do the pink. Flip that over. I just want you guys to see. It just adds a little bit of color. I'm going to go in the wicker white for this little one up here. And you know what, I think I'm gonna do white for this one also. This technique is so, it looks so great, but it's so easy to do. Like, I, it really makes any project like pop. Painting like, on glass, yeah. you're right, it is so fun. And flipping it over and seeing the color and yeah. like all the things you can do. Like I see Hawaiian flowers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would be a fun way to do flowers. Base it coat it and then do the details. Okay, so I base coated each one. This little guy I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do yellow. So cleaning off my brush. And this little white one, I think I'm gonna leave exactly as it is. So that dark blue will come through. I got a little drip of white accidentally, or not white, of water. Make sure there's no water when you're painting on glass or plexi. Okay, so flip that over, just show you guys, not polka dots, not a perfect circle, but just another fun layer of color. Okay, same thing that we did on the front, I'm gonna dry it with a blow dryer because we want it to be completely dry.
Okay, now we're gonna have some fun with the glitter. So I'm gonna pick the blue glitter. I'm gonna put some of that onto my palette. I love the Glitterific Glitter. There is so many glitter particles. And the great thing about the Folk Art Glitterific is the base is clear. So it's easy to apply. It's easy to see where you're adding sparkle. And there are so many chunks of glitter, <laughs> of glitter in each one. So it's very thick. You can see with that, with that clear base. I'm gonna scoop that up and I am gonna add that. There's no right or wrong. If you love glitter, add more. If you don't want as much glitter, add less. But all I'm gonna do is brush it in different areas in between all the different fireworks. But you don't wanna do perfect stripes. You don't wanna outline. You just wanna make it really quick, fun, and easy. You're just applying sparkle. You can never have too much glitter, right? Mm-hmm. And I love the difference of the glitterific fine, glitterific pop. There's just so much uh, variation. Oh, for sure. Let's glitter. see if they can see this. Yeah. It might be hard to see, KT. Oh, I think you can kind of see it, yeah. Can you see? They're almost like flakes of foil. Mm-hmm. You've got the little, the big. It's just, a, if you're a glitter person, you love, <laughs> you love it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I added some glitter to the back. I am also going to hit that with a blow dryer because we want the glitter to be dry. Okay. And for you for everyone at home, I know you I know you can see the difference. It seems so significant right here on Facebook Live why we would do some on the front and some on the back. But at home, just just the difference in painting the front and the back, just that little bit of thickness in your glass surface gives you actual dimension. And that's why it's so fun to do the technique some on the front and some on the back. It's hard to see it on the Facebook, um, but it's something you're definitely seeing at home joining us. Okay, so we're still on the back. I'm gonna get a little bit of the true blue. This is the regular folk art mat. And we are gonna do what originally, if this was a canvas, this would be our first step. It would be our base coat. And the neat thing about this is it is one of our last steps. So I am gonna simply base coat over my fireworks, over my glitter. One thing I am doing, I'm not creating an exact edge on my surface. Let me show you guys the original. I'm not creating a perfect edge because I want a little bit of that clear glass to come through when I hang that in the window. But I'm going directly over everything that we have painted. Can you guys see that? Just a really nice base coat over everything that's on the back of your surface. The only thing that is important here is that everything is dry. We're creating our beautiful summer sky. 
Get a little bit more blue if you need it. I'm going to leave a little opening where my main, some of them are gone. Those little fireworks are gone. That little one that was right there is gone. These main ones, only because I think I'm going to hang this in the window and I want just a little light to come through. But you can completely base coat it also. Either way will be perfect. Okay, we're going to flip that over. We don't have to blow dry it because you can see the frame has an edge on it so it won't sit flat on our surface. But if you are working with a plain piece of glass, elevate that so that it doesn't sit flat on your work surface. So even that, we're still going to go back and add more glitter and more detail, but all of those layers, you've got your glitter, you've got your base coat on the back, You've got a lot of your colors on the front. It's just such a fun way to layer when working on glass or plastic. All right, I'm gonna go right back to that number three round brush or script liner, whatever thin brush you were using. And I'm just gonna add a few more details. Now that I've got the dark background, I'm gonna add a few little polka dots or just dot the brush just by lightly tapping the tip of the bristles. I'm going to do a few little dots on the edge of this main firework. You can see I'm not overthinking it. They're not perfect, but just to be a little bit more detailed. If you don't want to do this and it's done and you love it, then don't add any more. I'm going to add a little bit of white to complement that orange background that I did. Lots of people are loving this. Oh, I'm Saying glad. It looks great. It'd be a great gift to give to somebody. I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to go in the yellow and just add details. They can be just by dotting the tip of your bristles on the edge of your design. You can add one more layer of color coming out of the middle. But just all those layers, like the grand finale. KT, don't you love that the best? You just anticipate, anticipate. Yes. And then you know at the end of any show they do. So this is the grand finale. Love that. And we're at the beach, we're pretending. <laughs> Even better. Right. Fireworks at the beach, nothing better. Now I want to go. Let's not come in tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Go straight to the beach. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Pack up the car. I'm going to do a little bit of the pink. I just love all the layers. And just a fun, easy way to add details. This little guy, just a few little dots, because he's more, he's more in the background. Okay, cleaning that brush, drying it off, and a little bit more wicker white if you need some. I'm all out. And now we're gonna do just the final details. And again, these are so simple. They don't have to match mine exactly. They're just the trail, the trail that it took into the sky. So you can start, I'm gonna start with the tallest one. And first I'm gonna just kind of air paint, like air guitar. I know it's gonna come down kind of to the center. I'm gonna pick a center spot where they're all shooting from. So I'm going to put my finger there. I'm going to just kind of trace where I think the line would go. I don't want to go through that little firework and that little firework. So I'm going to start on the blue sky and I'm going to go to there, but then I'm going to stop because he's the furthest one. He's in the distance. Maybe a little dash there, a little one there, a little one there, knowing that it's still coming down to the center. 
I'm going to skip all of this and just kind of connect him to the bottom where he's, where he's launching or being shot out of. Same with this one. This big guy, they all kind of start in the middle, but he's low and in the front, so I'm going to just do a little trail for him. This guy right here, maybe a line there, but I'm going to skip, not putting a line through that one at all. Coming back down to the bottom. This one I'm going to kind of have arch over. So I'm going to do long stroke, staying on the tip of the round brush, all shooting out of the center. This guy I'm going to kind of overlap just because, no reason, you don't have to, but just to add some details. And now that I see the background on him, I'm going to add just a little more white so he's a little bit brighter. Maybe a few dots in the center. I'm going to do, just kind of look at your composition. Do you have a spot where you maybe want one more? I'm thinking I might do one more right there. And I'm just going to use the white. I'm going to do a little baby star. I love it on the blue and the glitter. Yeah, it really pops. No color. And I might do one, I actually might do one right there. But just a little tiny one. And if you want to leave them like that, that is perfect. If you want to connect them to the spot where they came from, just draw a line. And this one I'm going to kind of arch. So I'm going to go to there, but I'm not going to go through the firework because he's in the distance. And then I'm going to just kind of mimic down here like that. So how simple at the very end to add some details. Okay, one more time with the blow dryer, because again, we want everything dry. everything's dry and this can be you could be done if this was enough and you love your composition you could be done but I'm gonna add more glitter so I'm gonna get this beautiful hot pink that might be my favorite glitterific color actually and then some of the glitterific pop which is fun I'll show you guys the shapes oops I probably got too much but I can <laughs> scoot that back into the bottle and using a flat brush, a 10, a 12, an 8, whatever you're comfortable with. And this will dry clear so you can put it right over your folk art matte colors. And that milky white will dry clear. That glitter will pop. You guys can see. Let's see. I can hold that one up. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Ooh. See the large yeah. shapes in the glitterific pop? Oh, look right there. I love it. Oh, it looks really good with that little, like, kind of catching the light. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Super so fun. add as much as you want, and you're just going directly over what you've already painted. I'm going to add a little bit of gold to the edge of this one, because I'm actually going to add pink to the center. The particles are so big, which is so fun, that you can actually place them almost. Mm -hmm. I use Glitterific for a lot of my projects, too. They're, you it's, do? It's, yeah, it's super fun to work with, and you I do love have a lot it. of time to like move it around. You're exactly right. Yeah, you can place it exactly where you want. <laughs> I love that. I'm just cleaning off my brush, switching colors. I'm going to add the pink. Oh, that's, that is oh, my favorite. Yeah, that's really fun. And just add as much glitter as you want. You'll sit, still see all the beautiful colors through the glitter. It just complements and is another fun layer. 
Oh, look at that giant mm -hmm. piece of glitter. <laughs> okay, I think that might be all I'm adding. Okay, Looks so great. then you've got glitter, you've got sparkle, you've got a solid base coat on the back. You've just got so many layers of sparkle. And then I did just a little accent. I loved the glitter so much. I'm going to just accent the frame of my surface. You can do the whole thing. You can base coat it first. All I'm going to do though is just dip it. So there's just, it's a little bit modern to leave the raw wood and then to have the glitter. I'm not going to base coat it with paint. I'm just going to take that same glitterific pop, the gold, and just base coat directly on that raw wood. I'm only going to do the top. I'm going to leave that edge, the natural wood, just because I love the natural wood. KT, you're not kidding. Look, it's so fun to place them. I know. I really love to use it. The way they scoot around and mm -hmm. you can put more or less in an area. What a fun. It's way better than when you used to have to put put <laughs> down something sticky, sprinkle mm -hmm. the glitter, then you had to wait a minute to see if you had the right amount. It's all in one stroke. You just there you go. put it on there. But add a thick coat, add add a thin coat, you can mm -hmm. add stripes, you can do gold on the bottom and maybe blue or pink on the top. Add as much glitter as you want. Oh, I might need a little bit more. Because I just need a little, I'm going to dip right into the bottle. Whenever I'm using the Glitterific and tape, I like to remove the tape when it's still wet. Because if you've got a big particle of glitter and then it dries on your tape, you can't scoot it. But this way you can scoot it. Oops. All right, I think that is it. That will dry. Once that dries, let me show you guys the finished one. You'll see how neat that gold glitter looks on the raw wood. It's just a really fun, modern look. Oh, right there, you can see it perfect. Okay, so you've got a fun, festive summer fireworks, unique, um, really unique surface, something different than a canvas. And you can hang that for the summer and just really enjoy um, the fireworks and the glitter. So thank you guys for joining us. We love if you hashtag and share your projects. So if you guys have painted with us tonight, please hashtag plaid crafts. Um, show us your paintings because that is one of our favorite things to see what you guys have done. So thank you for joining us. We do this every Monday at 730. Tons of different teachers, tons of different designs, and we hope to see you guys next time. Thanks.